Bolts are not for human hands! And everything. Now, assemble the bot. It's time for an upgrade. You follow orders unthinkingly. I like that in a worker. There's an infested doll soldier in a nearby quarantine zone. Lead my new bot to the soldier, then let it do what it does best. Though you may be tempted, do not die on the way. It's attacking us. Just keep it protected on its way to the soldier. I don't care how many holes it blows in you. Do not destroy it. soldier and in so doing keep investor confidence high i tell you this only so i can enjoy the dull drone of your brain cells as they try to comprehend the number of syllables i'm using you are very rude There's the 
Doll soldier. Just let my bot kill it. Careful with the robot! so my men can pick him up later. I'm sure that's patchable. Hell with it. I'm destroying this thing. Jack's designs are nothing compared to mine. Once I get the code monkeys to tweak its friend or foe mechanisms, it'll be perfect.
Tell your friends, Marcus Munitions. I've always got new stock. Check back later. <laughs> Which one? Let me see. Long ago, the Scav nations lived together in disharmony. Then everything changed when Zarbadan attacked. Only the Vault Hunter, Master of Guns, could stop her. 
I believe the Vault Hunter can save the moon. Cue intro music. Spoiler, it happens pretty much exactly like that. Primer is good to go. Three items, soldier. Three items to grind. All too easy. Initiated. Made for your death dealing pleasure. Grinder technology is trademark protected. Insert three items if you want to grind at this machine.
Here's how it is. You search that site for a way into the vault. We go there, we get what's inside it, and we use it to kill Lilith, Roland, and all those sons of bitches. Once I'm even with those two, you won't see me again. Little Rafik told me you're on your way inside the moon. Whoa, that's wicked. If you see anything you think's valuable, grab it for me, eh? And be careful, won't you? Gah, you got bad place and need to worry. Watch self and use plenty in the medicine. I see you soon, yes? Das Vidania! G'day, so, I was mucking about just playing a bit of snicket, this game that makes no sense, it's all the rage around here, and I hit my ball over there. Don't suppose you feel like feeling it for me, do you? I'd go, only I think it's against the rules. I'm supposed to run up and down on the spot shouting, how's that, or something. I'll send the rough coordinates to your echo. It's somewhere around there. I'm going to leave you to it while I try and keep track of the score. And believe me, between the two of us, you've got it easy. against in the 40th over of a bowl. No idea what it means, but just keep doing what you're doing. Here they come, mate. They got a hell of a... That's good, mate. We're four for 402 in our second innings, and they just let a boundary through silly long off. We carry on at this run rate, and we'll put them back in so we can try and get them out. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This is real power. 
Steve. That's it! The red thing! That's the Snicket Ball! Now get it back to me as quick as you can so we can try and win this one! We need 22 or 7.3 with only two Snickets left! We got a chance because they just bowled a ball that wasn't a bowl! And there's no feelers in a circle! Problem is the footholes are really helping the left-arm finger spinners out of the rough. This one's really got to go down to the wire! It's not going to be over until the last over! And probably the last bowl of it too! <coughs> Warning! Air reserves at 50%. Yes! You did great! I finally got my century, whatever that is, and we either won or lost or drew or tied. Plus, we got three Snicket Nadens back in the pavilion. Oh, mate, I bloody love this game. Just needs a few rule changes so it makes completely and utterly no sense at all, and it'll be ruddy perfect. As a token of my esteem, I'd like to award you with membership of my Snicket Club. This was a terrible idea. A noble warrior lady. Thank goodness. My friend and I have been sent by our mistress to deliver a message of vital importance to Toby Van Adobe. Our craft crash landed, however, and we need an escort to ensure our safe passage. Not that kind of passage. Will you help us, Vault Hunter? Should one wish a mission? I have one. Wonderful! You will be suitably paid, of course. I cannot stress how vital our mission is. How dare you! Wash your voice processor out with disinfectant, you foul excuse for a robot! Outrageous! No wonder she removed your main speech circuit!
your main speech circuit. for a robot. What's this? Bots in a world hunter? Sir, we were sent to find Toby Van Adobe. Is that you? Is this thing recording? You did it again, Skag for Brains. You left with my torque pedal exfoliating scrub. You know I totes depend on it and absolutely can't get any more, as only three bottles exist in the whole universe. I need to get ready to go out. Screw you, Toby Van Adobe. You've got my only soap. Oh, that's what that was. I used the last of it up just now. <laughs> What's that? She found the other 
two bottles just before we left, and this whole trip was for nothing? I... I... Well, it got us out of the ship, I suppose. This is terribly embarrassing, but we can't pay you. Yes, I couldn't agree more. How rude. In that case, I have something for your troubles. End. I say, lend a chap a hand, will you? I'm Captain Chef, and I've just discovered this moon. It's imperative I lay claim to it before anyone else does. Oh, you look oddly familiar. Anyway, I brought the flag. King Greg adores it when you plant a flag, but royal protocol requires me to stand to attention and salute whilst it's being raised. No matter how hard I try, I can't seem to manage it. So if you can just retrieve it from my case and hoist the thing for me, I'll stand here and King Greg gets himself another colony. He is especially partial to colonies. Do get my flag for me, will you? There's a good sort. The flagpole's just over here. I should warn you, these Johnny Foreigner types can be a little sensitive when you discover them. That's it. Now start hoisting as I salute. Don't be shy, hoist away! <clears throat> there she is in all her glory. I just have to stand to attention and salute until she reaches the top. Oh. On the off chance any of the locals should. Hyperion psychopath! Ah, yes, Hyperion it does seem different. something of a theme. Be a sport, will you, and fight them off until the flag's raised? As sure. soon as she's there, I'm right with you, side by side in the trenches. Oh, oh. something hard expressed. No!
muffins. But the full blown dispatch is the order of the day. Ah, the blasted thing stuck. Make me a A sort of formation. We're all starting. decision. Salute assistance. I believe you may be a natural. Good Greg. Blasted foreign technology. Would you mind awfully doing the honors? <laughs> oh, splendid. You may remove the, uh, prop. Well, that's a blessed relief. Even my prodigious salute muscles were beginning to quiver beneath the titanic strain. Oh, you seem to have made rather a mess. Not to worry, these things tend to clear themselves up in the end. 
Well, mustn't loiter. There are plenty of other undiscovered places eager to be civilized. Cheerio! So, what do you think? Care to lend this old sailor a hand? Warning, oxygen levels at 50% and dropping. Since Zarpachik is dead, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some loaders your way. Moonshot's pinpointing you right now. Try not to be standing under the supply fire. You don't want to do that. Why are these assholes still fighting? Their leader's history. Why not kick back, take a break, go see the sights? Yeah, Attacking never mind, we'll wipe them out soon enough. <laughs> That'll be your sight. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs>
first, it just watched. Then it spoke. I, I understand now. It led us down into a, a vault of sorts. Inside it was so small, but so much more. I saw. The knowledge it contains is too powerful. Keeping that vault out of human hands is the only thing that matters. Warning, entering vacuum. John, you're through, and this time the board is behind me. You've been terminated. You say one more word to me, and I will make your death slow. What are you? That was three. I'll be seeing you soon. Attacking high my eyes! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would be wow, like I that. mean, there's a lot of weird alien crap around here. That's got to be a good sign, right? Means something real juicy is waiting for me down there. Just try it! Direction, basically towards that huge freaking purple hole. Keep that up.
All right, that's good. Now see where that takes you. I surrender! I give up! Of course he does. Now kill him. Why? <laughs> he really thought we were gonna let him go. He was like, nah, I'm gonna turn my life around and eat better and finish my novel and stuff. Then boom! What a dumbass! <laughs> That's good stuff. I'm sorry. Looks like that right there is the way in. from me. A pleasure. Don't get killed. 